So, a couple of days ago, after I got my uh, two copies, uh, the f my copies of the first two volumes, I should say, of Disney's The Mouth Watch, I uploaded uh, the video, the on-camera video, showing what Gadget Hack Wrench of the Rescue Rangers look like in the Mouthwatch series. Because the Mouthwatch series is a spin-off, uh, believe it or not, of Chippendale Rescue Rangers and obviously takes place years, you know, after the Rangers have, you know, gone their separate ways, has solved all the crimes that need to be solved and all that, all the mysteries and stuff. You know, so they've gone their separate ways. And Gadget, being part of the team, took inspiration from that to create the Mouse Watch organization to combat, you know, crime and mysteries similar to what the Rangers would deal with, but also to combat an evil organization known as RATS. That is R dot A dot T dot S. Or R period A period T period S. Anyway, she created the Mouse Watch. And, you know, this, and again, like I said, the person that asked me this question was, and the person basically asked me the question, or asked the question of what it was. And basically what I just said is exactly what the Mouse Watch is. It is a spin-off series of Chip and Dale Rescue Rangers in book form. Now, I also did a video previously before getting my books, you know, asking whether or not we might see an animated adaptation of the Mouse Watch for Disney Plus down the line. And I hope we, and honestly, I stick by what I said in that video. I hope we do. I hope we get a spinoff. I hope we get, you know, something of, of an animated adaptation to this series because this series right now just by the two volumes I've kind of skimmed through so far has the potential to be really good it really does but yeah you know that's what the mouse watch is the mouse watch is like I said a series that's a spin-off of Chippendale Rescue Rangers just and that's kind of showing you what I'm trying to say that's showing you the longevity of that 1989 to 1993, 1992 series. You know, doing its original run. And this here, Mouse Watch, is just another prime example of that because we also had the Boom Studios doing some kind of a soft rebooted continuation of the original continuity. And now you have the Mouse Watch, which obviously, from a continuity standpoint, takes place in the same world, in the same timeline but takes place years in the future and I think that's pretty awesome and what I like about this is on that last page when you see Gadget um, if you will you see that she is older her hair is cut shorter uh, her hair is trimmed shorter it's kind of in a bob a bob weave if you will she has glasses on and it looks like she has a few wrinkles here and there so you can so you can tell she's you know been around she's had experience you know with these kind of situations and i think it's uh, i think it's pretty cool i think it's pretty cool that jj gilbert i think that's his name who wrote these stories is taking the legacy and the love of the rescue rangers and spinning it off into something else for you know, for future, you know, reads, for future, you know, adventures to be enjoyed and read, if not probably inevitably seen by a lot of fans of the Rangers that grew up on them and through the, and through uh, services like Disney Plus are discovering and growing up with them as we speak. So, to me, I really appreciate all that. But to get back to, like I said, the question that the person asked, what is the Mouse Watch? Well, that's what it is. The Mouse Watch is basically a novel, basically a, I would say, a preteen to teen novel, if you will, um, spinoff of Chip and Dale Rescue Rangers. And I think it's really cool. Because when you read, if not skim through it a little bit before you fully read it, and that's what I've done, I kind of skim through it, but I will be fully reading it. When you do that, you know, you start seeing, uh, basically, you know, worse, you know, word usage of, um, you know, that you wouldn't hear in Rescue Rangers normally, like, you know, death, 
being killed, you know, wor- you know, parents being worried that, you know, the child might be killed, stuff like that. You get all these, you know, you know, wording and descriptions and stuff that you normally wouldn't have gotten in Rescue Rangers, which is pretty cool. I really, I really dig that. What I also dig is the real life, uh, the real world perspective. Because in the original series, and even with the comic book um, a continuation by Boom Studios and the comic books that were published alongside the series when it was on when it was on the air originally, we never had in any of those three versions we never had any establishment of okay where are the Rangers located at where do they live? Some assumed it was New York because you know the fact the Ranger headquarters was in a park, you know in a tree. Some, like myself, thought it might have been San Francisco. Would have made sense. But, you know, we don't know. You know, and again, some stuck by it being New York due to the fact that in one of the episodes, they went to go investigate the disappearance of the Statue of Liberty. And they were able to get over there, like, real quickly, if you know what I mean. So... You know, it could, so the location could have been New York-based. Again, you know, some would argue San Francisco, whatever. But I think the book here kind of establishes that it was New York, because like I said, one of the things I do like about Mouse Watch is the real-world locations that they utilize, like Union Station, Los Angeles, stuff like that. You know, you know stuff like that. I, I really appreciate that. I really enjoy that. So... Overall, Mouthwatch definitely has the potential to be something big for Disney, you know, either from a book perspective or from, you know, all media perspective if they decide to eventually adapt it into an animated form down the line. But in the end, though, Mouthwatch, again, like I said at the beginning, to answer the question, is a spin off of Chippendale Rescue Rangers. It's a spin off, it's a gadget focused spin-off and I think we should have been tipped off by this honestly honestly we should have been tipped off by this when it was announced that the Rangers would be one of the Disney afternoon characters in the third and final season of DuckTales and the episode itself basically focused on Gadget more so than the other team members so I think that should have gave it away but we'll see we'll see what happens in the but you know, well, not, not the fact that we'll see, but we'll just have to speculate whether or not that's true. But yeah, in the end, though, that's what Mouse Watch is. It is a spin off of Chippendale Rescue Rangers. It's a good spin off, potentially a good spin off, from what I've skimmed through so far. And I highly recommend checking it out. But that's all I'm going to say, guys. So until next time, God bless, take care, and I am out. <laughs>